I'll get a blessing to a mouse on turning her up in her nest with the plough, November 1785. We sleek it, curn timorous beastie, o'er a panics in thy breastie, thou needna start a wassy hasty with bickering brattle. I would be lathe to run and chase thee with murder and paddle. I'm truly sorry man's dominion has broken nature's social union and justifies that ill opinion which makes thee startle at me, thy poor earth-born companion and fellow mortal. I doubt na whiles, but thou mon thieve. What then, poor beastie, thou mon leave? A demonicker in a thraves a small request. I'll get a blessing with a lave and never missed. Thy wee bit who say do in ruin. It silly was the winds are strewn, and Nathan now to big a new ain o foggage green, and bleak December's winds ensuing, baith snell and keen. Thou saw the fields laid bare and wast, and weary winter coming fast, and cosy here beneath the blast thou thought to dwell, till crash the cruel cooter passed out through thy cell. That wee bit heap o' leaves and stibble has cost thee mony a weary nibble. Now thou's turned out for a' thy trouble, but house or hauled to thole the winter's sleety dribble, and Cranroch called. But mousy, thou art no thy lane and proven foresight may be vain. The best laid schemes o' mice and men gang after glee, and lea us nocht but grief and pain for promised joy. Still, thou art blessed compared with me, the present only touches thee, but ach, I backward cast my e and prospects drear, and forwards, though I canna see, I guess and fear. Scott and Wonders. Well, and it's a, Hello, I'm Scott, always in that's not that's me. Wonder. Um, mm. And today, Wonder, it's the 25th of January, it is. which is, um, uh, it's officially in Scotland, it's Burns Night. Mm -hmm. And that obviously that relates to the poet... Of Robert Burns. Robert Burns, who was the National Bard. We've got something down here. Yeah, uh, said that to he help was, us, we um, looked into it to find yeah, out so what it was all about. Didn't yeah, we? so he lived from 25th yeah. of um, January 1759 to the 21st of July 1796. Right. Um, he was their national... He was, he national that old then, was he? Uh, he was... Uh, 37? 37 when he died. Really? Yeah. 96, okay. Yeah, 37. Yeah, that's really young, isn't it? Absolutely. So, um, enough. Yeah, so um, the, so it's um, a, a meal generally, I think, that they have on their night, the Burns Night yeah. meal. They probably celebrate with music and stuff. Music as well, and don't parties they? and yeah. things like that. But they can't. Obviously, I think the, 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 the national the dish for that is haggis, neeps and tatties. Now, yep. we're not going to do the full dish, but what we're going to do try. is we're going to try haggis. Now, yeah. I've never had haggis. I You've tried, tried it at the preschool, because at our preschool we do like introduce the children to certain celebrations of the year. And we've had vegan, and, we've had, and I've only tried the vegan haggis, but we have... We, there was haggis going around, but I tried the vegan one. Yeah, so you tried the vegan one. I've never tried haggis. Oh. Um, uh, this one is uh, Simon Howie, the Scottish butcher. Picked it up in Sainsbury's. It was about two quid. Yeah. I think something like that. Um, and you were telling me what was in it, Wanda. Yeah. Lamb's lungs, chaffinch brains, otter's noses. No, oh, no. that isn't. Say it correctly. I'm no, that, sure that's, upset no, that's from Monty Python. Oh, right. It's a okay. from Monty Python. Um, so it's got beef liver, beef heart, um, beef fat and lamb lungs and all the rest is like oatmeal, peppers and barley I've, and spices I've and got, onions. I've got to be honest, so, it's not something I'm looking forward to. No. But yeah, we're going to... It gonna, might taste nice it though, It might Scott, be very nice. A lot nice. of people have it, don't they? So, so, so it'll be the first time... A bit like <coughs> that pudding. Yeah, there we go, well to be fair. Um, so yeah, we're going to cook that. I was going to say it takes about nine hours or something, doesn't it? 
It's an hour and 15 minutes in the oven. Right. You can microwave it, but you've got to chop it all up and put it nah, in. Nah, we, we're, we're going to do it properly. Yeah, we're going to put it in the oven. Yep. Got to wrap it in foil, um, fill it up with boiling water halfway. Yep. And then cover it and let it cook basically 75 minutes. Okay. And just check the water level. Right. And then once it's ready, remove and then it's ready to serve. Okay, so we're going to do that, yeah. uh, we're getting cooked, yeah. and we'll be back to give it a try. I do like mashed potato, and, and is it Swede? I think it's, yeah, I think it's Swede and, um, and, and yeah. potatoes. They're quite a nice combination, so yeah. we have that bit. Yeah, uh, but yeah, we're just going to have the actual the hangers itself, so we're getting yeah. that cooked, and we'll be back. Mm, bye. So we've got the hangers out of the oven, it's been in there for about an hour and 20 minutes, Wanda. Yeah. As you can see, there's it, a massive bang. There's a massive so bang. There. And it's exploded slightly. But it doesn't matter. We're going to slice it open. Oh, we're going to have a taste. Oh, again, right, we're back. We've got, um, got it out of the oven. And there it is. Wonder. You're not looking forward to this at all, are you? No, well, it just exploded out of it, yeah. Okay, so normally you sort of slice down. Wanda is going to use her trusty scissors. And there we go. So she's going to slice it, slice it along the top. I'm going to cut it in half so you can go. Okay, what, with scissors? Yeah. Like that. Good. It smells alright. There's some red bits in the middle. Does that mean it's not cut? I'd imagine it's alright. It's been in there for ages, so. There we go. So that's in, uh, in the middle of the hangers. That obviously looks quite hot. Um, no one just terrified. It's because I know what's in it. If I didn't read what was in it, then I should have tried it first before I saw what was in it. See, I learn, um, learn from the black pudding. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go into this not mentally thinking about what's in it. Okay. Okay, and I think that's probably the easiest way. Nice Am to I eat. going first or you go first? Go first. Got to be truthful. Okay. It smells okay. It smells it smells quite, quite I've got to be honest, it? it smells quite nice. It reminds me of faggot. Brains. Or large meatballs. That's not what's in that Mr. Brains tart. I don't, but we've got to be careful brains. saying that word because obviously there's a connotation with it. So what we like to say is large meatballs in gravy. Because <laughs> what Dave did, what he did it the other week. Oh, okay. Smells quite nice, actually. So, um, to all of our friends up up above the uh, the um up in Scotland, mm -hmm. um, happy Burns Night. Mm -hmm. My first time trying haggis. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I think I remember it being the texture thing for me with the food on one. It's, it's a bit mint. It's a bit like mince, mm. but with mince. Um, and grainy. Grainy. You're getting that oaty, the oaty taste from there. Tasty. Um, I'm going to say, I actually quite like that. Oh, do you? It's got, got a nice spice to it. There's a nice, uh, oh, not, 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 not spicy, but there's a nice, like, peppery, oh shit, I almost dropped it. Nice peppery spice to it. Okay. I quite like that. I'm not going to say I don't. It smells really. It does smell like a meatball. It's really tasty. Like, as in, in that, the brain's that, that, tray. That peppery taste is, is still lingering. It's really, really tasty. It's spicy, though. It's not spicy. Yeah. It's all right. Nice, isn't it? It's more the texture thing. Are you getting that, like, that peppery? No, out of it. Mm -hmm. You're not. I am. It does taste meaty. Yes. Now I'm getting the peppery. Yeah. Tang after. Yeah, and it sort of sits around for a little bit. Um, it's more the texture thing. So it's the texture. Not the on. texture you wouldn't like, rather than the actual taste. Mm. The taste. All right. It tastes. I can see why people have. That would be nice with mashed potato and sweet. Yeah, it would. Yeah. So you could mix it all in. Yeah. Did they have gravy on it or anything? I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a real gravy with it. For me, it actually tastes nice. It's just the texture thing. I can't get my head around a little. It's a bit, lots of grainy bits. So it's it? like a meatball that has to be binded together. It's, um, it's all right. I was quite surprised by that because um, of what we read, what was on the packet. I was a bit like, oh. I think, I think, well, I learned from the um, the um, the black pudding that you sometimes you go into these things mm. not thinking you're going to like it mm. because of you know what's in it. Um, I actually really like that. I've surprised myself as well. Yeah. Um, and that we should have done some mashed potato and add it for dinner. Yeah. I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Really, really nice. So I'm going to give that a thumbs up, Linda. Thumbs up. I'm just not keen on the texture. Texture is a bit weird for you, so yeah. I think it's because you haven't got, you're not you haven't had it with something else. Have you had like, it with something else? It's because it's all grainy and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. It's a texture thing. I really like it. Maybe if I had a female, it would be all right. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, that 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 um that's uh peppery spice. It's still hanging around. That's really really nice. I quite like that. Yeah. Quite spice. So to all of our friends up in um, Scotland. Yeah, have a good evening. Have a good evening. Celebrating um, in, celebrating. Um, in lockdown way. Yeah, got a couple of friends up there. Danny McFadden, mm -hmm. um, Tommy McAllister. So up to you guys and your families. Um, okay. Like the video. I like mashed potato in Sweden. Yeah. It is sweet, isn't sure it? I'm sure it's sweet. Right, I'm not sure it's sweet. Yeah, I'm sure it's sweet. Yeah. Um, so like the video, don't like the video. Um, mm -hmm. If you subscribe to the channel, that helps. Mm -hmm. um, find us on all the social media at the end. Comment below if you've had it. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Say very nice. Happy birthday. Bye.